County Commissioner Mike Middleton is here talking about the proposed dog, cat, pet fee. In the last year, maybe more, Caddo Animal Control has come under a great deal of criticism on a number of fronts. You as a dog lover, you've got your little pup Lucy here today. Right. You've walked through there probably a thousand times. Yes. What's the condition? Are you as a dog lover? Do you feel they're doing the best they can do? Are doing a solid job? I think they are doing, and I'm, I'll tell you this too: they're being a lot more receptive, responsive to what they do hear from either the commissioners or from the um, people out there on the street. They're, they're being more responsive. We're trying to get these issues done, and we also have some people out there that are volunteers. I call them my boots on the ground. They let us know if things are going on. They let the administration know when things are going on. In fact, there was just recently a uh, we say a personnel change and because of the information we received now what i am pushing for is this 24 7 365 and 360 degree coverage from gate to gate from door to door and everything within the c pause on cameras other than the director's office and the assistant director's office i think that is very well, will essential. i be able to actually log in and see no, the dogs? i don't unless you won't be able to see the uh, operations but we are uh trying to get to where we're photographing all the uh strays that do come in so, so we can go ahead and get them Posted. Okay. Yeah. Let's ask you about this. If I pay this annual fee, if y'all pass this on May 4th, I think it's yeah. on your agenda. It's Excuse me. Agenda. Once again, the proposed fees are $20 for non spader neutered. Right. $10, not per annum, your option. The one you back is one forever fee per animal. That's, that is correct. Right, I'm sorry. Where's How much money will this raise, do you mm-hmm. anticipate? I know that's hard to tell because you don't know how many people will participate. And then two... Can you assure us that all of this money that is raised will be used for animal services and how? We are estimating $40,000 for the cost of the employee and benefits and the software and the training on that software at the initial cost. From there on, we're going to have to see what it's going to take. I, for, I'm going to answer this question direct. I'm going to do everything within my power, and I think the others will too, that any excess money above what we do take in, it's not going to sit there in the coffer. It's going to go to uh, further the uh, spay and neutering program. Program and also to foster the uh, dogs out or cats, as may be, and also for the, ado- the adoption out. People such as Paws for Life, who has done a great job taking about 100 dogs a year, I'm sorry, a, a month out of Sea Paws and taking them up to the Northeast where people need these dogs. Tanya Parker started that right here about a, a year and a half, two years ago, and the work that she has done alone, and it's not just her, you know, you got Susan Trahan, and then you got Charlotte Ballard who helps us keep us on our toes, and so many people, Candy Peavy. They're the ones that started all this. They are the ones that did the due and diligence as a citizens committee and gave us what we have now to what's going to be the best. And they looked at the best possible models that may serve Caddo in reducing the number of strays and reducing the number of euthanasia. Registration for dogs. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mandatory registration for dogs. Cats, ferrets, etc. Tell, tell yes. me what. Tell what? me what the etc. Birds, is. Birds, snakes. What's on oh, the list? I, I'm sorry. It's it's a lot of stuff on there. As you see right there, I, I've looked through this thing and I, I've read so many versions of it. But because some I, are saying I, birds you know, won't be included, well, I mean, y'all, many, that's still debatable. I, that, that may be debatable. I don't When's know. the last time your budgie got I, loose? I, I think our biggest thing is going to be the cats and dogs. Obviously, mm-hmm. that's sure. the ones I'm going to be concerned about. And uh, if people have pets, and I mean uh, parrots or whatever they have to, it says in there they have to register that's something else but i think the biggest concern we could just keep it on the platter here is uh the dogs and cats and dogs more concerned to me than anything in the world and mm-hmm. that's why i'm here right now i just want to fully explain that this came as a result of a citizens committee now i also want to say too that all of our citizens committees are announced on online and if i can anybody can call me or go online and see cattle.org and you can see where you can get notifications about committee meetings and regular meetings work session meetings special sessions you can be notified you can see what's on the agenda. And if you see something on there and you can't make it down there, you need to call your commissioner and say, this is what I would like to hear you say on this. And everything is recorded. Everything has got mm-hmm. minutes taken. And that, I want people more involved. And yeah. that's where we are. That's where we are right now. Now people are starting to say, well, there's going to be this. This has been being kicked around since I've been on there for a year and a half. You bet. It's been kicked around. It's not anything new. But now people are starting to hear because the news media is coming out with it. Yeah. And But it's been out there before. It's Could just a final vote there. happen next week? Uh, next week, we'll see. I mean, yeah, I mean, work session, if it uh, moves on over to the uh, regular session, yes, uh, yes, it could. We'll see.